today. I hope you're doing well. We are in between Lake Junaluska, North Carolina, and Waynesville, North Carolina. And I'll tell you a little bit about Lake Junaluska in a little bit. I'm there for a John G. Lake ministry seminar with Curry Blake. But we're headed into downtown Waynesville. It is so charming and beautiful. Many restaurants, shops, and galleries. So we're going to head there now. Hope you'll come along with me. We'll drive through first, and then we're going to get out and take a look around. We're going to actually here. We've got a two-hour lunch, so I want to find somewhere to eat lunch. I came. I ate at an Italian restaurant here yesterday, but the real Italian restaurant I wanted to eat downtown was closed. So it's a Friday. Not sure if it's going to be open or not, but we're going to take a look. This is Logan's gifts and home decor. Wow, that's a really neat in here. I'm going to walk through real quick, let you guys take a look at it because it is so neat. A lot of pretty decorations. If you really, if you wanted to decorate your house, this would be a great place. Looks like they have some purses too. <gasps> and goodies. So the women go in and the men sit down out front. I assume the position. <laughs> I got you. I see that a lot. Yeah. Hey, this is cool. This is the Strand. Oh, the office is for rent, so I'm sure this used to be their uh, movie theater. We're going to keep looking. The, uh, the young ladies in there told me the, uh, several places to eat. One is down here, so we're going to see if we can find that. Let's look at the menu. This is Ujum's Brewing Company. Let's see what they got. Soups and salads, burgers, sandwiches. It's not really what I want. So let's keep let's keep looking. Just want to give you a quick peek at the downtown. Very beautiful today. It's probably in the 70s. Perfect weather. I hope you guys are getting ready to take advantage of this perfect weather. September, October, a lot of festivals around, whether it be North Carolina, West Virginia, wherever you are. Take a look at the festivals. They're starting to come back this year. Oh, we have to look at the properties in the area. Are they expensive? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Doesn't look as bad as Blowing Rock. We may have to go in the bakery. Um, I didn't notice it, but I have like lost 10 pounds in a week. Um, staying with mom or whatever. I'm not going to talk about it. Anyway, um, here I'm getting ready to enjoy some really good stuff. Oh, <laughs> There's a lot of honeybees downtown right There's now. There's one in the salon today. Yeah. yeah. Right. They're all over the place right now. Here. Still walking, still looking for a place to eat. I think we're going to have to walk back up on the other side. This looks like candles. This is the consignment shop that I bought the purse in. Thank you. Still in the consignment shop. A lot of cool stuff. I need to tell you the name of it in case you're over here. Um, let's go out and look and I'll tell you the name of it. Really cool. It is Ellie's. I just told her that I bought my purse in there and I love it, love it, love it. Okay, here's Chocolate Factory, Truffles, Cordials, Toffee, and is that a... Oh, that's just another clothing store. And he's got everything he needs right here, honey. All right, Bagel Shop. Market, beer, wine, groceries, games. And more antique. This is Gateway to the Smokies, Waynesville, North Carolina, but I wanted to go show you these flowers. Um, these must be native to North Carolina. I've seen them in books, like this is a bee balm. These are huge. Wildflowers of the Smokies. We're near the Smokies, uh, Great, Smoky Great Smoky Mountain National Park. We are near there. And Cherokee, there's a lady slipper and a butterfly weed. Really cool, look at the mountains. And that over there looks like the courthouse. Another beautiful shot of the mountains. Can you see them? I, you know, I take these pictures and they just certainly don't do them justice. 
Okay, we found a place to eat called Birchwood Hall. It's really neat in here. Look at the chandelier. Kind of looks like southern cooking. Not sure. We'll look at the menu. Okay, guys. I'm trying to see. They have appetizers, uh, burgers, sandwiches. Hey, um, do you have anything to drink in a bottle at all? Like anything? Water? Uh, we, don't, we don't have water in a bottle. Anything else? We have beer. Yeah, they don't have anything in a bottle to drink. Don't want a beer. Okay, burgers, sandwiches, main lunch main, salads, and um, for the table, like dad's tomato pie, mac and cheese, collard greens. For lunch, they have salmon, chicken pot pie, chi fried chicken, meatloaf, shrimp. What's that? Carolina gold rice. Chicken, sausage, shrimp, fresh vegetables, and herbs. I'm gonna have to look a little bit, guys. I'll let you know. Okay, so what do y'all think of that? Oh, there we go. No, so what do you think of that? Looks good, doesn't it? So fried chicken, mashed potatoes, green beans, got some little sauce and things on there, so I'll let you know how it is. Well, it was good. It was fair, it wasn't great. I wanna show you this. This is old time music artist Stefan Boniz dedicated in 2008 it's, it says Waynesville has a rich musical heritage they enjoy old-time music in the string bands fiddle tunes and ballads played and sung in our street dances and many folk festivals pretty cool that thing's huge it's a nice little park people sitting here enjoying their doggies so everybody has a dog a little Scotty. Another real estate office. Oh, and they also have a Mass General Store. This is just one of the, they're calling it Mass General Store, and maybe back in the day it used to be original, but now it's just modern things if you want to look at the real one. I did a vlog on that, like one vlog, two vlogs ago, the Mass General Store in Valley Cruces. That is original with the old timey stuff. I'm gonna take a quick walk down this side street because there's several restaurants, but we're gonna head back to Lake Junaluska and I'll tell you about that. I wanna stop by my one of my favorite grocery stores, Ingalls. It's family owned. They do not have that in West Virginia. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this patio. It's so pretty. Boy, this is the patio and they have sandwiches, wraps, and quiche. This is it. And, there, and you can actually look at the menu on the outside to decide if you want to eat, and then you can take it outside. And then also, here on the same street, um, this is called Chef's Table, and I was told this was a great place. Now, they're just open for dinner, but they've got things like filet mignon for $48, duck, $40, prime rib, $48. So, as you can tell, it's pretty pretty pricey fried green tomatoes 12 all kinds of different pastas but I was told this is excellent and there is a picture of some of their food and they said they source from local growers so you could treat yourself but there's another restaurant Church Street Depot and it's another burger place if you wanted something like that hello, hello. Then I think there's one more at the end of the street here. This is a martial arts studio. And let's see what this is. Farm to Fork Experience called Frog's Leap. And again, this is a five o'clock place. Um, let's see what they have. Small plates, full plates, black and grouper. Um, you guys, I am not even seeing. Oh, yes, I am. I'm trying to see the prices. I can't tell. I don't know. I don't think know if they're prices. I'm not seeing any. Not sure. But anyway, uh, I've got grouper, scallops, beef, chicken breast, pork chops. This looks like a really neat place. Also have some great looking 
um, desserts. They have a, a plate called Devils on Horseback, which is bacon wrapped, smoked blue cheese stuffed with dates. Oh my gosh, that looks good. That says $12, so you can get an idea about that. I wanna show you the outside, it's really pretty. So there's some of the best restaurants. And we're looking back up the street, so we're gonna head back up. And, uh, oh, okay, that cool place over there says, Vittles and Libations. That is beautiful. That's a neat restaurant, too. Um, looks like they're open right now. So let's go over and let you take a quick look so you know what you're looking at when you come. It's called the 37, and this is on the National Registry of Historic Places, the Department of the Interior, and I don't know if it used to be a bank, but they, okay, Monday through Thursday, they don't open till 4, and Fridays and Saturdays, 12. So um, they have music. We finished our seminar for the day. And we're back in downtown Waynesville, and we're going to go to the restaurant that I talked about today that was closed. Y'all listen to this. Uh, listen. That's their direction signals when they're telling you to walk and not walk. Uh oh. I think I'm jaywalking. <laughs> I know the other day I heard in uh, Mooresville, no, no, where was it? Oh, in downtown Huntington, somebody got a jaywalking ticket. So uh, I'm dare not gonna do it. Oh, they're telling me not to go, listen. I guess these are all bird noises. But if you see over there, Ian and Jojo's Pizzeria Restaurant, um, they also have pasta. So we're gonna go over there. I've eaten there before, it's really good. We're gonna try it again. I don't know if they have somebody on vacation but she's telling me they don't have pizza today, but I was not gonna get pizza. So let's see what they have. I don't want soup salad appetizer. So let's see what they have. I definitely want pasta. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Um, hoagies, paninis, pasta, baked dishes, veal, chicken entrees, seafood entrees. Oh, I wonder what kind of seafood they have. I can't get the thing to stay open. Okay, I had fettuccine yesterday, so I'm gonna get, she said it's good, the meat sauce and pasta. Uh, it does come with a salad, I didn't want that. I'm gonna have a Dr. Pepper. So, we'll let you know how it is. I forgot to show it to you before I started, but look how, I'm finished, and look how much is left. It's good, I mean it's good. I really like sweet spaghetti sauce and I know you all think I'm crazy but I put ketchup in my spaghetti and they didn't have any so but I am just so full and I'm gonna get the coconut cake and take it with me I've mentioned this before as I've walked by earlier in the day they have the best coconut cake I've ever had I just asked for where they got it and they get it from New York so I'm gonna get a to-go piece of cake I hope I can remember to show it to you it's like five layers but oh my gosh it's so good so if you ever come here make sure you come Waynesville Ian and Jojo's coconut cake and I want to show you as I go out all the different desserts that they have. Okay, we're coming down the mountain from Waynesville to Lake Junaluska. I'd say it's only a 10 minute drive. It's not far at all, so you can enjoy both towns. I wouldn't call Lake Jun Junaluska a town, but I'm gonna tell you about it. It was established in 1913 by the Methodist clergy. They wanted a place for people to go for inspiration and education and refreshment. The retreat center is for Christian hospitality and there's so many different things to do at the resort. I've been there for a day and I see people out walking and walking their dogs. So I wanna tell you a little bit more as we get near. Okay, we're getting ready to pull in the main gate. And it says, main gate. I'll show you some of the structures as we pull in. There's the lake. This is the Bethea Welcome Center. This is, is this Foundation for Evangelism. There are inns and bed and breakfast all over the facility. I'm staying at a bed and breakfast. I'm here, I told you, for uh, John G. Lake Ministries and Curry Blake. He's, he calls himself the overseer, but he's the head of John G. Lake at this point. 
Uh, John G. Lake was one of the great healing men of history, died in 1935, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But the things to do here, they actually have golf and tennis and a pool and a restaurant and nightly boat rides, gardens, birding, kayaking, mini golf, shuffleboard, cornhole, playground trails. And they actually have their own singers called the Lake Junaluska Singers. It's actually a magical place to visit, just so quaint, very peaceful. But I'm gonna drive through and let you see um, the different facilities. Right here is a restaurant that I went to yesterday. I know you all gonna think all I do is eat. <laughs> it's called C Crepe and Custard. I didn't eat there, but there's the tennis courts. They have homemade crepes and homemade custard looks really good look at these cabins places and inns that you can stay in it is rustic I'm gonna tell you it's the place I'm staying the the Airbnb is rustic little little too rustic for me but it, it's nice it's still nice look at this people going down on the lake walking their puppies Ooh, looks like he's gonna come out in the road but there are churches on the property we're in a huge um, auditorium. A lot of people there from all over the country for the seminar. It's three days, it's from, it was Thursday, I got here yesterday, what well, it wasn't, it started today. I got here yesterday, because it's about a seven hour drive it took me from West Virginia to get here. But it will go through Sunday, and Sunday night at seven, he will have a healing service. So if anybody is, within any distance of Lake Junaluska, Ash, Asheville, and you need healing, you need to come. You need to come. But this is another one of their, um, that's the lodge. And this little area has a coffee shop, auditorium, meeting rooms, library. I'm gonna go in there and see what they have. But this is the auditorium. I think I'll get out and let you take a look at it. It's all on the water, very pretty. This is it right here that we've been all day. Looks like everybody's, oh, I think they're having a wedding. So pretty with the lake and the beautiful mountains in the background. Sorry for the roar of the air conditioner. This is the auditorium again that we were in all day. Isn't that pretty? And do y'all see that white building in there uh, in the background? My Airbnb is behind that building, in like the basement. I'm gonna put on a little bit of Curry speaking. What he's doing is reading a letter that John G. Lake wrote. Uh, so he's just reading that letter um, from the stage today. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that on for you guys to listen to so you can get an idea. But go also, and I'll put a link for John G. Lake Ministries. It's an incredible ministry. Really build your faith. That's a lost word in the Christian's vocabulary. Yes. But in the soul of him who truly knows God and has been in touch with the Lord as his Savior and healer, his first awareness is a sense of dominion. Dominion over sin is the first thing that Christian soul becomes aware of. And in the truly God-enlightened soul, dominion over sickness likewise. Okay, he said there's a rehearsal for a wedding tomorrow they're just going to set up, but he told me I could go in. So let's go in and take a look at this beautiful church. You can tell how old it is. Look at the, look at the roof. We'll just take a quick, quick peek. How beautiful. Are you the bride? I am. Oh, this is a bride. She's getting married tomorrow. She's so pretty. Well, congratulations. Thank you. This is beautiful. Let's walk up. Really neat place to get married. Look at the floors. They're stone or, or you know, concrete tile. Look at the stained glass. Wow, so pretty.
Can you guys see the cross up on the hill? Try to make it bigger. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time in beautiful Waynesville and in Lake Junaluska. We're not far from the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. Actually, I came through Tennessee to get here. But I just hope you enjoyed this trip, that you'll come and take advantage of somewhere so beautiful, maybe not too far from you, or it would be worth a trip here. Remember that God loves you. God bless you. Until I see you again. Bye.